guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video about detox. Now, detox is a word that is thrown around by a lot of people, including myself probably, because I just assume, you know, that everyone knows what detox is and how it works and what happens and, you know, how you procure such a action in your body. But I have to remember that not everyone knows what detox is, what it is for, how do you do it, what happens when you detox. So that's what this video is about. And I have done other videos like this, I believe, but I have never done one with my book, Get the Glow. So um, Get the Glow is my in-depth guide to veganism and detoxification. And of course, there is a whole chapter filled with information that I wrote about detoxification. So I wanted to pull a little bit of a paragraph from that. So this is called, or the title of this paragraph is, How Does Detoxification Work? So I'm going to read you this, and then I'm going to talk about, you know, symptoms and blah, blah, blah. So basically, detoxification means cleansing the body of acids and impurities that become trapped in the body's tissues over time. Detoxification works by removing impurities from the blood, lymphatic system, and all organs and glands. Detoxification also inherently means you will be strengthening all glands and organs in the body. The process of removing excess toxins and acids in the body only works to improve gland and organ function. Detoxification help, helps aid the body's channels of elimination. The body eliminates through the kidneys, intestines, lungs, lymphatic system, liver, and skin. When these systems are compromised, impurities aren't properly filtered and the body is adversely affected. Eating a diet high in water-rich fruits, herbs, raw juices, smoothies, and more lets the body detoxify, which it wants to do naturally. So that's where I'm going to stop with that. But basically that's detoxification in a big old nutshell. So. What's going on in society today, and I love to generalize this, but just muse me here. What's going on in society today is there are people that are walking around where their bodies are loaded with acids, toxins, just grossness, you know? People are eating a diet that is not made for them. This includes processed foods and meat and dairy, in my opinion. There's a lot of grain eating as well, which is more benign than a lot of things. You can do a lot worse things than eat wheat, but a lot of people are adversely affected by grains too. So we have a lot of that going on, you know, plus the pesticides and the herbicides and the preservatives and everything that we are consuming, including prescription drugs, recreational drugs, a ton of alcohol, sugar out the yin yang. <laughs> so we've got a lot of debauchery going on. And what happens is people's bodies slowly but surely take a toll. You know, you can't eat these things for years and years and years and expect for nothing to go wrong. Now, some people have weaker or strong constitutions. So some people can live up to 98, chain smoke and cigarettes and eat and cake every day and nothing happens to them. But some people are born with lymphoma. I mean, there's all kinds of, of levels in this human realm that we're in right now. So the purpose of detoxification is to cure all symptoms and to get to the root cause of whatever problem you're having. It could be acne or it could be, you know, stage five, whatever failure, you know, liver failure, whatever. So I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not giving medical advice, but I can tell you how for the past five years I have gotten healthy. I've rid myself of digestive issues and horrific skin problems. My skin still isn't perfect, but oh my God, it is so much better than it used to be. And I have detoxification to thank. So, you create detoxification in your body when you stop eating the stuff that it doesn't need or want to thrive and you start eating foods that it loves, that your body just loves, soaks up, absorbs, it, absorbs, utilizes, etc. which are raw fruits and vegetables in my humble, is it humble? I don't know, <laughs> opinion. Okay, so detoxification can create a lot of things in your body and I'm actually gonna switch to a page, I have a whole page in here about the symptoms of detoxification. So I'm just gonna read through a few of the most popular cold and flu-like symptoms. That probably is the biggest. I had a lot of fevers in my detoxification journey. I had just a couple days here and there where I would have one day of having a fever, not feeling that great, and then the next day it would be gone, and I felt so much better. 
Um, you could have mu mucus discharge out of any orifice in the body, including, um, you know, out of the mouth, ears, the private parts, the nose, the eyes, blah, blah, blah. Aches and pains, a coated tongue, bad breath, body odor, fevers, like I said, headaches is a big one. Um, weight loss, depending on, you know, if you're malabsorbed, what level your thyroid is at. There can definitely be emotional detox, so buckle your seatbelts for that. Um, you can have pain and old injuries, like, or if you had poison ivy, you can have that come back and then heal. Um, you can get skin problems like I did when I went raw. My, I thought my skin was bad before. Oh my god, it exploded. But you know what? You have to go through, you gotta pay your debt to nature, essentially. And you gotta go through some stuff before you get to the other side. You can have diarrhea, vomiting, um, itching, hair loss, stomach pains, difficulty sleeping, cravings for unhealthy foods, etc., etc. So those are some of the detox symptoms and it totally depends, you know, if you're going to have those symptoms on you. How much damage have you done to your specific body? A lot of people have a very tight ball of yarn that they have to unravel. Now some people haven't really, you know, done that much damage to their body or they had a strong constitution. So everyone has different detox journeys. For me, Mine really boiled down to having crazy skin for a couple years and like I said the fevers here and there and then I had one summer when I first went raw where literally for 90 days I would say every single day when I woke up I blew my nose about a box of Kleenex worth. So I had a lot of mucus come out and that is what you want. Anytime that you can get mucus out of your body you need to shout to the heavens and be thankful because that just means that your lymphatic system is moving and it's getting the gunk out that's probably in there that has probably been in there <clears throat> for years so that is a little bit about what to expect for detox obviously whenever you go into a raw vegan diet you're going to facilitate detox but that's what you want because detox is the key to health so when you eat fruits and vegetables and you go on juice cleanses you know solid food vacations when you water fast even take herbs these are going to help your body purge but also strengthen so an example is if you do a colon cleanse you want to do it in a way where you are not only cleaning out the inside of the bowel obviously getting all the yuckies out we're going to use that mature word yuckies <laughs> But you also want to strengthen the bowel wall, and that's where herbs come in, and also fruits and vegetables. So that's a little bit about detox, and I just wanted to bring that to light because I know a lot of people talk about it all the time, including myself. And it's something that definitely needs to be talked about because we've got people that are dropping like flies and going to the medical doctor and not getting any help. And when we really need to take charge of our own health, change our diet and our lifestyle a little bit, or a lot for some people, and just get on the road to health and vitality and live a longer life, but also a life with more quality. That's what I want every day. You know, I don't want to reach a certain plateau, like 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, whatever it is, and then just go downhill and then, you know, have to just whatever. You know how people just drastically, their health gets worse as they age. I want to, you know, if anything, stay stable but also I want my health to get better every year you know and I do that and you can do that with your lifestyle so just it doesn't have to be something where you can't control we control our health now we're not always told that and that's a whole other story but I'm telling you that you can get healthy you can lose weight you can help these diseases and chronic issues and acute issues in the body so that's my video. I gotta go to work now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If, if you want more help from me personally, you can go through my vegan coaching programs. The links will always be down below or you can go to my website, victoriarawvegan.com for more information on that. And if you are interested in this beautiful book, Get the Glow, that I recently wrote, the links will also be down below. It's on Amazon and then you can get the digital copy on my website. So that's all. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You can't live at all unless you can live fully now.